We have used the MSNE characterization theorem uh, to find an algorithm to find MSNE and uh, in this module we are going to prove that uh, fundamental uh, theorem uh, which actually gave rise to that algorithm. So let us uh, reiterate what was this uh, MSNE characterization theorem. It says that a mixed strategy profile sigma i star sigma minus i star is a mixed strategy in Nash equilibrium if and only if these two conditions hold for every player. Uh, the utility uh, of that player when it plays uh, the pure strategy SI and the other players uh, pick the mixed strategy sigma minus I star is going to be the same for all these strategies in the support of sigma I star. And the second condition was that uh, this uh, utility is going to be at least as much as the utility of any other strategy which is not in the support. Okay, so let's try to prove that. In the proof, we will need two uh, uh, results uh, which are which I'll uh, state as observations these are very simple observations uh, about uh, about convex sets and uh, and its properties so the first thing is that we are going to find the maxima uh, over all the possible uh, mixed strategies uh, of player i right so uh, what we are what we are saying is that uh, find uh, the maxima over all uh, mixed strategies so I can write this expression is this utility expression as follows. So this is the utility at SI, so strategy, uh, pure strategy SI and the other players are picking the mixed strategy sigma minus I and what I am doing is I am looking at sigma I SI and taking its sum over all SI in capital SI. Right, this is, this is what this utility means. Now we are trying to maximize it. Now think about this problem. We are trying, so sigma i si, we know that those are probability distribution. So this utility for si, um, there are, let's say, uh, uh, some k number of strategies in the strategy set of player i. So all of this uh, individual si's in, uh, living in that set will give some utility for, for this player. And now we have this k numbers and we are mixing them, uh, taking a convex combination of those numbers and we are trying to find out which convex combination will give you the maximum. Do you think uh, of any convex combination which gives you the maximum? It is the maximum value among those k numbers where you can put all the mass and that will give you the maximum, uh, maximum convex combination. And that is exactly what is uh, written on the right hand side. If you just pick uh, that strategy which gives you the maximum, so uh, this, uh, this max is nothing but uh, the maximum over all those k numbers that is going to be the maximum value uh, here uh, no matter in whatever way you want to find this uh, maxima uh, if you try to find out the uh, the uh, the probability distribution that maximizes this uh, expected utility of this player that that is equal to the case where you are putting all the mass on the maximum value so therefore this maximum value should be same so this is uh, the first observation. Uh, this is a very simple observation, yet uh, quite uh, quite important and interesting. The second uh, thing is that let us look at the uh, the quantity. So again, the left hand side is the same, but uh, uh, but we have replaced only the uh, the strategy of the other players as sigma minus i star. So what is sigma i star? So sigma i star and sigma minus i star is the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. So what is uh, from the definition of it, what do we know? We know that uh, if we use this, uh, this is going to be the maximum uh, over all the uh, other strategies or over all the other mixed strategies. Now we have already seen this equality to hold from the first observation. Now what we are going to argue is that uh, this is equal to the maximum where you are looking at the strategies not on the whole set of SI but just the, uh, the support of sigma i star. And why is that true? So suppose this is not true. So suppose this maxima is not coming from this uh, uh, set uh, uh, from the support, but it is living somewhere outside. So let us, there, uh, let us say there exists some SI prime, which is not in the support. 
and that has the maximum value. Then what we can say is that we can put the entire probability mass on that strategy profile, uh, on that strategy uh, of that player I. And that, because that is going to be the maximum, that is certainly uh, is going to give you a higher utility than the expected utility of, uh, of sigma i star. Because uh, when you are looking at the sigma i star, uh, you don't have the maxima there. Uh, uh, all the numbers that you have on the support, all the utilities that you have for the strategies on the support, even if you uh, uh, maxima, even if you uh, take the convex combination of that, uh, then also whatever you are going to get at max is the maximum value there. But you already have some other strategy SI prime uh, where you are, you have a strictly larger uh, utility value. So if I put, so this is a different um, uh, mixed strategy. Of course, this is a, uh, uh, it's a pure strategy, but yes, of course, that's a degenerate mixed strategy where I'm putting all the probability mass to that SI prime. And that is going to give you strictly larger utility, expected utility, than the expected utility that you can get on the uh, strategy profile sigma i star, sigma minus i star. So that contradicts the fact that sigma i star, sigma minus i star is a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. So therefore, that cannot happen. So whatever we have assumed is wrong. So therefore, the max must live within the uh, support of uh, sigma i star. Okay, so with these two observations, we, we are now in, in a position to prove this, uh, prove this result. So, uh, there are two parts of this proof because it is a necessary and sufficient condition. First, we will prove the forward direction. That means we will start with a uh, sigma, uh, we will start with assuming that sigma i star, sigma minus i star is mixed strategy in Nash equilibrium and show these two conditions hold. And in the uh, reverse direction, we will uh, assume these two conditions to hold and show that sigma i star, sigma minus i star is a mixed strategy in Nash equilibrium. So, the first uh, direction is the forward direction. So here we are given this is a, a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium and we have just uh, use uh, we are just going to use the definition of mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. So this is by the definition we are maximizing with respect to sigma i, uh, all the sigma i's. Now we uh, uh, make, uh, make use of the first observation that it is going to be the max uh, over that strategy space. Uh, so maximizing um, uh, the, the convex combination is equivalent to maximizing uh, with respect to the strategy, the pure strategy. And now we also know from that uh, second observation that uh, this is going to be the maximum over the uh, support of sigma i star. So let's call this the first uh, observation, the first uh, sub result. Now also we know by definition of the expected utility, you can write this, uh, this uh, utility at the mixed strategy profile uh, in, this, in this form, the expected utility form. Now, uh, because this the support, the definition of this of this support is that beyond this uh, uh, support, all this for all the strategies, sigma i star has zero uh, uh, probability mass. So I can just remove those uh, strategies uh, from from the summation, and uh, I can just reduce the summation uh, to to the uh, uh, the support of sigma i star. Now I know that uh, this uh, this first sub result and the second sub result are equal because the left hand side is the same for both these things. Now what is these two things saying? It is saying that the max, so this one, so uh, you are looking at the same set of uh, delta sigma i star, the support, and the max is exactly equal to the uh, the, the the positive weighted average. So uh, notice this term; it's a positive weighted average. So all these terms now here is positive. So there is no zero number there. When can you take a convex combination uh, of all these numbers, which is equal to the max of those numbers? It can happen, think about it. It can happen only when all the numbers are equal. So there is no other way. Uh, if there is a, there, there are uh, dissimilar numbers, one is uh, slightly larger than the other numbers. Then the uh, mix uh, of that, the convex combination of that will certainly be the certainly be smaller than that uh, maximum number. So it can never happen unless your uh, all the uh, numbers are exactly equal. And that is exactly what we uh, we are going to conclude from here. Uh, when all the values are same, that means all this ui si uh, sigma minus i star are going to be the same for all the strategies which is living in this support of sigma i star. 
So that essentially proves the uh, the first condition, the, uh, the condition one. Now let us go, go to the condition two. So how, how can we prove condition two? So uh, what uh, condition uh, two is saying is uh, that uh, for all the strategies which are in support, the utility at that, uh, at that uh, strategy is going to be large at least as much as the utility uh, for a strategy which is not in the support. So assume for contradiction that is not true. So there exists some strategy which is in the support and uh, some strategy SI prime which is not in the support such that, uh, such that the inequality is flipped. So then again we can use the very similar argument because uh, now we have a, a, a competing uh, probability mass. So we have a strategy uh, of, uh, uh, of SI prime where the utility is uh, going to be larger. Then uh, the probability mass that I was uh, earlier giving, so uh, consider the strategy, so sigma i star is uh, giving different probability masses to different uh, strategies right so there is si uh, and there are other strategies also in the in the support of uh, sigma i star for player i so uh, because this si prime uh, has a larger utility now so whatever probability mass uh, you are giving on this si you just shift that uh, uh, probability mass that is sigma i star of si to si prime and because uh, and then you take the expected utility and the because of the fact that this is strictly larger uh, you can show that the expected utility that you get in the uh, so called um, uh, mixed strategy Nash equilibrium um, is going to be smaller than the, uh, the the expected utility that we are just now constructing and therefore that is a contradiction to the case that it is a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium you already found uh, a competing uh, uh, strategy profile which gives you a larger utility than the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium so therefore it is uh, um, uh, it is not possible so what we assume for contradiction is not true so definitely it, it must be the case that this inequality should be greater than or equal to so that uh, proves the condition number two now we have uh, we have proved the forward direction that if it is an MSNE, the condition one and condition two are getting satisfied. Now we'll have to prove the other direction. That is, if we are assuming that these two conditions are true, uh, condition one and condition two are, two are true, then it must be a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. So how can we prove that? So just uh, uh, reduce the notation a little bit because we know that uh, 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 condition one is saying that for all the strategies in the uh, uh, delta sigma i star, the, uh, uh, the support of sigma i star, uh, it is going to be same. So we can just represent that uh, by a number which only depends on sigma minus i star. So let's call that mi of sigma minus i star. And also what we know is that that is going to be at least as large as any other strategy um, outside that and also inside. Inside it is equal, outside it is at least as much as uh, the utility uh, of uh, at those strategies. So we can without loss of generality say that this it is the maximum over all the strategies in the strategy space of player i. So this uh, uh, comes from the condition 2. So, uh, these two things are essentially uh, rewriting the same conditions. Now let us look at the uh, utility of uh, sigma i star, sigma minus i star. Uh, as before, we are writing this uh, as a probabilistically weighted sum of the utilities as at those pure strategies where the pure strategies are living within the support of sigma i star. And this is by the definition of sigma i star. For all other cases, it is going to be zero, so we don't really need to uh, uh, care about that. Now we know that uh, uh, because these numbers are all equal, so we are looking at only the strategies which is uh, within the support. So these numbers, these utilities are going to be the same, which is equal to m i of sigma minus i star. So this is a constant; it is not it is not dependent on s i anymore. So we can take that constant term m i of sigma minus i star outside the summation and the summation uh, it will always be equal to 1. So therefore it just becomes m i of sigma minus i star. Now we use the condition uh, uh, condition 2. Uh, so you, we are just looking at the maxim, maximum value of uh, ui of uh, s i sigma minus i star. And using the, the previous observation, we know that this, when you are trying to uh, maximize something uh, over uh, 
so the maximum value uh, that you get when you are maximizing uh, over this uh, individual strategies or individual numbers that is equivalent uh, to maximizing with respect to a mixed strategy maximizing with respect to a convex combination of the same things and that is definitely going to give you this uh, this expression here because this is the maximum value of uh, over all the sigma uh, uh, sigma i's this is going to be larger than if you pick any uh, specific sigma i and this should hold for all sigma i in the uh, in the mixed strategy uh, space of uh, of player i and that is essentially what we wanted to prove so we wanted to prove that uh, if you look at sigma i star sigma minus i star and player i makes a unilateral deviation to sigma i uh, for all such sigma i's uh, this is this inequality is going to hold and uh, we have assumed an arbitrary player i and therefore this uh, inequality should hold for all i in n and therefore we have proved that this particular strategy profile sigma i star sigma minus i star is a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium so that proves both the directions of this uh, characterization theorem.